On Real TV's Prime Time, now headlines. A video of an NSC and IM cater claiming that the group had supplied arms to a particular community in Manipur has been circulating on social media. In response to this, the group has issued a clarification on Friday and called it a cheap propaganda stunt for the adversary. After a few days of peace, fresh violence was reported again in Manipur as three Kuki village volunteers were killed following a heavy gunfight at the Wai Kuki village and the Litan police station in Kamchong district on Friday morning. A four-member delegation led by CPIM General Secretary Sitaram Yachura reached violence hit northeastern state of Manipur on Friday. You know, Minister Shwani Vishnav inaugurated India's first 3D printed post office building in Bangalore in Kannada. A video of an NSC and IM cater claiming that the group had supplied arms to a particular community in Manipur has been circulating on social media. In response to this, the group has issued a clarification on Friday and called it a cheap propaganda stunt for the adversary, stating that a particular individual, H. Koshive loving son, Rua, is a private in the Naga Army posted at Tongpo Brigade. The group said, according to his commander, Rua is a habitual liar and of doubtful integrity. The group claimed that Roa was granted medical leave on 7th of August and sent to Dimapur but went missing since then. It also said that video clips is an evidently pre-planned and scripted production of some mischievous agency aiming at furthering mayhem and also paint the NSCN in bad light. After a few days of peace, fresh violence was reported again in Manipur as three Kuki village volunteers were killed following a heavy gunfight at the Wai Kuki village and the Litan police station in Kamchong district on Friday morning. According to reports, sounds of heavy gunshots were heard approximately 47 kilometers from Ukrul town at around 4.30 a.m. Ukrul superintendent of police Ningsham Basum told media persons that it was an unprovoked and intentional attack. He said armed miscreants from the valley side are suspected to have intruded into the hills. The bodies of the deceased were found in bunkers after hectic search by CSOs and villagers. The three have been identified as 26-year-old Jam Ko Jing Haukip, 25-year-old Tang Kokai Haukip and 24-year-old Holson Baite. It was reported that two of them sustained multiple injuries while the arm and legs of the third were mutilated. Till the time of filing this report, there were no further reports of casualty. Thangkul villagers close to Tawai, Tawai Kuki village told local media that the gunfight lasted for almost an hour in the wee hours with sounds of automatic weapons and mortars. A four-member delegation led by CPIM General Secretary Sitara Myachura reached violence hit northeastern state of Manipur on Friday. Speaking to media persons upon reaching Imphal, CPIM General Secretary Sitara Myachura said that they have come to express solidarity with the people of Manipur. Want to convey the message that Manipuri brothers and sisters are all part of the same Indian family and we want normalcy and peace to be restored. He said, what is the considered opinion of the government of india we do not know he added the delegation will be visiting various leaders cso's of all communities and will also be meeting governor of manipur anusuya okay later in the evening with our delegation of our central committee we have come here on behalf of the cpim to express our solidarity and express our support and to convey the message that Manipuri brothers and sisters are all our friends. We are all part of the same Indian family. And we want normalcy and peace to be restored. That issue we will discuss with the, I mean, it's ultimately the governments that have to deal with it. 
you you talk you talk of a double i mean double engine government with the same government in the center as well as in the state so they have to deal with all these uh, issues and problems we are here to do whatever is required on our part to help in the process of restoring normalcy and i think it's been going on for too long over three months then this is something that should not continue to be like this that is for the for the administration and the governments to answer no how can we we say that how were they permitted why were they given that permission it is for them to answer and and these are the questions which people have been raising and they, and they said that these there are issues that must be answered by the government's concern and the fact that the prime minister has not opened i mean said anything tangible i mean concrete tangible i mean it's it's, it's very very unfortunate I mean, because we do can't allow this uh, situation to continue like this well i'm here with my <laughs> like um to a person people are coming here you know like moira and for uh, example Today. Okay, we didn't meet in governor today tonight. Okay. Well, they worked out the program. Yeah. Uh, Shanta, you we have been involved in meeting the CSOs and political leadership. We are meeting governor. All these. We'll be meeting the governor and the officials also. The society also. We are going to Naga, exchange and peace. All of them. Yeah, all of them. All without any hesitation. You see, there is no concrete categorical statement. The Home Minister has made a statement in the Parliament. upon which there is a big degree of controversy that it has generated a lot of people disagree with them what is the considered opinion of the government of india we do not know I illegal immigrants if they are illegal they they are not legal in india <laughs> very simple as a term but who is illegal who is not illegal i mean that is something you have to have a very scientific and strict basis of identification As flood creates havoc at Kataria in UP's Amhora district, the Sikh bears the brunt. A Sikh girl whose health was deteriorating had to be carried on a cot by villagers to the hospital on Friday as flood water filled the entire village. It has been learned that people living in Kadar area of Mandi Danwara Tehsil are facing medicine and food crisis. Water level of Ganga River is just a few inches away to reach the danger mark of the water was released from the western dam dams in Ankeru now district the water level reached 112.780 on Friday which is just 12 cm short to cross danger mark at 113 meters meanwhile flood waters has entered both rural and residential areas now upper district officer narendra kumar singh has informed that four the sales have been affected by the flood however water have not entered villages yet but officials are keeping a watchful eye he said 20 to 25 days back about 1150 people were affected due to the increase of water level it has been informed that a 24 hour flood relief center has been made op operationalized समस्या यार पानी भरोगा छत यार आधे द्वार है हमारे अब बताओ देख ना राशन पहले बटो रहा था कहाँ लगे विधवा मिलो फिर हमारे में विधवा रहा हुई कौन है मिलो तो क्या बाद में फिर बताओ देख राशन और हमका कोई मल में नहीं होते हमारे यहाँ पानी भरोगा छत यार आधे घर है पानी चलो दस बारह दिन दे राशन बता We'll take a short break. Keep watching.
डील विकली लॉटरी के लिए भी छोई तकाते आरो चिटी बो पारे वार करोर खली छोई तका डेर हफ्ता लॉटरी और नी करी दीवा अपनी लाज जीवन Welcome back. Moving further, you know, Minister Ashwini Vishnuf has inaugurated India's first 3D printed post office building in Bengaluru in Karnataka. Vishnuf said the city always presents a new picture of India. The new picture that people saw of the 3D post office building is the spirit of India today. The minister said, adding that it was the spirit with which India is progressing today. Further, the minister said the spirit of development, the spirit of developing on technology is the defining feature. All this is possible because the country has a leadership that is decisive and has confidence in the people's capabilities, Vishnav said. On this uh, very early morning program, all the dignitaries present on the dais, my friend Mr. Mohan, our very innovative uh, CPMG, Mr. Rajendra Kumar, Professor uh, Santanam from IIT Madras, all the friends present here. It's always a pleasure to come to Bangalore, Bengaluru. <laughs> Somehow this city has so much energy, so much positivity, so much forward-looking character that I really, really enjoy coming to Bangalore. This city presents always a new picture of India. The new picture that you saw today in terms of this uh, 3D printed uh, post office building, that's the spirit of India today. That's the spirit with which our country is progressing today. I can give you 10 examples. Nobody ever thought that India would be developing its own 4G and 5G technology. Nobody ever thought. Nobody ever thought that India would be manufacturing its very, very complex telecom equipment. Nobody ever thought. Actually, one of the industry veterans, Mr. Sunil Parthi Mittal, he mentioned that he has been in the telecom industry for about 35 years and never could he imagine that India would emerge as a manufacturer and develop, developer of telecom technology. Nobody could have ever thought that India would be able to design and manufacture a world-class train equal to on the way to making its own bullet train. Example after example, sector after sector, Nobody could ever thought that India would be exporting Hobbitzer guns. Namaskara, sir. I welcome Mr. Sadanand Kauraji. Nobody could ever imagine that these kind of technological developments could even be thought of, executed, designed. The spirit of development, the spirit of developing our own technology, the spirit of doing something which the earlier, uh, in the earlier times was considered as impossible, that's the defining feature of these times. And that has been possible because the country has got a leadership which is decisive. The country has a leader who thinks who has confidence in our people's capability. Manipur Security Advisor Kuldeep Singh on Friday said that a state government has sought a report from the Chudachanpur Deputy Commissioner and Superintendent of Police over the display of sophisticated firearms by a group of people at an unofficial Independence Day Barrett. Kuldeep Singh said that lawful action will be taken against those displaying firearms at the Parrot. He said over 1,250 firearms have been recovered so far from across the state. A large number of firearms were looted from state police armories during the last three months of ethnic clashes. We have called for a report. And if the report is true, if the report is true, 
हम लोगों ने एस और डी से रिपोर्ट मांगा है जैसे रिपोर्ट आता है लॉफुल एक्शन विल बी टेकन अगेंस्ट ऑल ऑफ देम फुटेज तो है तो रिपोर्ट तो चाहिए ना रिपोर्ट ले रहे हैं हम लोग डी और एस को बोला है वो रिपोर्ट दे रहे हैं हम लोग वंस रिपोर्ट कम्स यू विल टेक लॉफुल एक्शन देखिए ऐसा है कि स्पोरेटिक फायरिंग कहीं कहीं डेफिनेटली कुछ कुछ होता है वी अटेंड एवरी डे कॉमिंग ऑपरेशन हो रहा है हथियार रोज रिकवरी हो रहा है आम रिकवरी इज मोर देन ट्वेल्व था ट्वेल्व फिफ्टी Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad K. Sangma Prathar stated Kushi ki state government do master roll workers are omit te mil kukkan tanka tik time de napa mamla do janiya se aru itu tik kuru bule karne mon diya se Kushi. That as your Chief Minister and as a government we are always there with you. I remember 2018 when the election got over. I did not contest the election that time. I never expected that our government will be formed. We'll take another short break. Keep watching. Welcome back. Moving further, four unidentified assailants shot dead a 40-year-old journalist with Hindi Daily, Dainik Jagran, at Rani Ganj in Bihar's Araria district on Friday morning. The journalist Vimal was a witness to the murder of his brother in 2019. Police Superintendent Ashok Kumar Singh said Vimal was shot dead around 5:30 a.m. A forensic team was at the spot. The body was taken for post-mortem. Efforts are underway to nab the accused. Singh said, "Prima facie, it seems to be a case of enmity." The journalist was also a key witness to the murder of his elder brother. He added, "Vimal was shot in his chest and he died on the spot." An investigation has started and police have been asked to obtain CCTV footage, if any. He said, "Further probe is underway." Pooja Kumari, Vimal's widow, said, "They rushed him to the hospital where." The doctors declared him dead. He was a key witness to the murder of his brother and was threatened several times to turn hostile. दिमाग काम नहीं कर वह एक बार कहल कर एक दिन ले रिपोर्ट में गवा दे सजा करवे लगे एक आज सुबह करीब साढ़े पाँच बजे रानीगंज बाजार अंतर्गत विमल जी जो दैनिक जागरण के पत्रकार हैं चार अपराध करने उनके दरवाजे पर पहुँचते हैं और आवाज़ देते हैं 
आवाज़ देने को निकलते हैं घर से बाहर और उनको गोली मार के और फरार हो जाते हैं घटनास्थल पर ही उनकी मृत्यु हो जाती है कक्षा में पुष्पाटम हाउस बैग घटनास्थल पर एक स्पेशल डॉग स्पैड बुलाया गया है वहाँ पे बड़ी पदाधिकारी जो इंस्पेक्टर स्कैम कर रहे हैं अनुसंधान के अधीन कार्रवाई कर रहे हैं और जल्द अपराधियों को गिरफ्तारी की दिशा में हम लोग प्रयास कर रहे हैं कोखा एक कोखा मिला है एक ही गोली चली है जो उनके राइट साइड में सीने में लगी है और एक कोखा भी बरामद हुई और हम लोग बहुत जल्द इस पर हम लोग प्रयास कर रहे हैं हर एक विषय हर एक पहलू पर जाँच करें हर एक बिंदु पर जाँच करें अनुसंधान में सभी बिंदु को हम लोग लेंगे और बहुत जल्द से जल्द सही अपराधी तक पहुँचेंगे हम लोग और पूरी प्रशासन उस परिवार के साथ है हर कदम पर उनके साथ रहे उनको भय में होने की जरूरत नहीं उनके साथ हम लोग रक्षक जी जब भक्षक है और इन लोगों को सर और लाज भी नहीं है मुख्यमंत्री जी कहते हैं कि बिहार का ग्राफ घटा है परसों भी गोली चली है परसों गोली चली है रानीगंज में बाल बाल बच्चा है अरे हम लोग जब बोलते हैं जंगल राज तो यही ना जंगल राज है यह प्रूफ हो रहा है ना लेकिन बिहार के मुख्यमंत्री सुशासन बाबू से मैं पूछना चाहता हूं कि अब भी आपको शर्म नहीं आ रहा है क्या बेशर्मी का भी पार कर गई है सरकार मित्रों मैं यही कहूंगा कि बिहार में जंगल राज शुरू है एक तरफ दरोगा का मृत्यु हुआ आज तीन दिन पहले हम लोग उसका अंतिम संस्कार करके आए हैं कल रानीगंज में घटना घटी है और आज अभी सुबह हम लोग सोए थे सुना कि पत्रकार को गोली मार दिया घर से उठाकर गोली मारी गई है सर घर से, तो से, उठा से उठा के पत्रकारों को गोली मारी जाती है और प्रशासन शासन कुछ है नहीं बिहार में भगवान भरोसे यह राज्य चल रहा है निश्चित रूप से इसका जवाब नीतीश कुमार जी को देना चाहिए नैतिक जिम्मेवारी लेकर के कि आज कोई सुरक्षित नहीं है इसलिए यह जंगल राज है नीतीश जी को इस्तीफा देना प्रशासन पर कार्रवाई होनी चाहिए नहीं बिल्कुल होनी चाहिए शासन प्रशासन सरकार सभी निकम्मा है सभी घुसखोर है सभी भ्रष्टाचारी में डूबा हुआ है रोज हत्या हो रहा है रोज गोली चल रही है लेकिन एक भी अपराधी को पकड़ने में ना कामयाब है यही तो सुशासन बाबू से पूछते हैं कि चार साल पहले इनका भाई का पहले हत्या हुआ अगर उसमें सजा हो गया होता तो निश्चित रूप से आज ये हिम्मत नहीं करता अपराधी इसलिए शासन प्रशासन सरकार सब तंत्र फेल है आम जनता का क्या होगा जहां एक तरफ दरोगा सुरक्षित नहीं पत्रकार सुरक्षित नहीं ये लोकतंत्र का सबसे बड़ा चौथा स्तंभ पत्रकार होता है और उसके साथ इस तरह का वारदात करना सुबह में उठा करके और गोली मार देना और वह उसकी हत्या करके चला जाता है और शासन प्रशासन चुप बैठा है राजस्थान चीफ मिनिस्टर अशोक गहलोत स्लैम बीजेपी आई टी सेल इन चार्ज अमित मालवीय ऑन द राजेश पायलट इशू एंड लेबल थे मैस अ लाइबिलिटी फॉर द पीजेपी राजेश पायलट एंड आई ज्वाइन पॉलिटिक्स टूगेदर वी वे वेरी क्लोज वॉट एवर नॉन सेंस अमित मालवीय पीजेपी आई टी सेल चीफ इज स्पीकिंग इट्स हिज एजेंडा ऑफ लाइंग एंड स्प्रेडिंग फेक न्यूज ही हैज बिकम अ लाइबिलिटी फॉर द पीजेपी नाउ एज द पब्लिक हैज अंडरस्टूड दैट ही स्प्रेड्स फेक न्यूज ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ पी जे पी सेट राजस्थान सी एम अशोक गहलोत राजेश पायलट जी हमारे साथ हम दोनों साथ साथ आए थे पार्लियामेंट के अंदर अस्सी के अंदर हम काफ़ी करीब से जानते एक दूसरे को जानते थे इसलिए इस प्रकार की बेहूदा बातें जो कर रहे हैं मालविया मिस्टर मालविया जो उनका है उनका धंधा यही है झूठ बोलना फेक न्यूज़ फैलाना अब पूरे देश में वो बुद्धिजीवियों में एक्सपोज हो गया है अब बीजेपी के लिए वो एसेट नहीं लाइब्रेटी बन चुका है अब बीजेपी को हटाया नहीं हटाया हमें मतलब नहीं है आज बीजेपी के लिए लाइब्रेटी कोई है तो अमित मालविया जी है ये मैं कह सकता हूँ तो जनता समझ गई तो फेक न्यूज चला रहता है बीजेपी के बिहार पर तो ये स्थिति है तो आप चिंता नहीं करें राजस्थान में माहौल अच्छा बना हुआ है सरकार इस बार उम्मीद में करता हूँ जनता जो है जनता का आशीर्वाद वहाँ पर मिलेगा रिपीट करने में सरकार को मुझे लगता है